Hey, welcome back to a very exciting episode, a Halloween edition episode of Modern Motors. Uh, if you guys can't tell, we're into Star Wars. I am wearing my Jedi. Yeah. Uh, Crystal is whatever that is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> and then my son is Darth Vader in the back there. Um, we are going to be talking about Alfisimo bleeder screws. Today should be the day that this uploads will be the day after Halloween. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you guys had a very safe and productive Halloween and hopefully you guys got a lot of candy if you guys still do that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> They're all adults. Uh, <laughs> hope your kids got candy. <laughs> Um, today we're talking about the Alfisimo bleeder screws. What's scarier than our costumes <laughs> is you being good. is be you being stranded without these Alfisimo bleeder screws. I kid you not. I was uh, getting ready to make this video twice this week. Somebody has reached out to me because the bleeder screw broke. Uh, they were left stranded and they had to get their car towed. I am not kidding. That's not a fabrication. I have two DMs. Sorry. Like I was saying before, I was really interrupted by that car. Uh, if you go on Alfisimo's website, these are $31 for the kit. I think each piece is like 18 bucks. $31 to save you a lot of money potentially in the future. I'm not trying to fear monger. Literally this week, as I was getting ready to make this video, two people have reached out to me. This month alone, approximately five. So a few other people have done this video on the bleeder screws, but I wanted to come put it on my channel just so I can just tell you guys, please spend the $31 before you end up hitting me up saying, hey, Ricky, my car's stranded. I don't know why it's stranded, it's smoking, blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> They're bound to break, especially, especially with the higher mileage cars. Um, these are stainless steel replacements. So you get rid of plastic, you get stainless steel in return. It is, when we talk about maintenance, so you know, we've talked about the brackets, I know we've talked about the wastegate arms. This is a nice addition for very low cost. Please, I urge you, not because I want you to really buy from Alfisimo, but I really, really, really don't want you to do my DMs. <laughs> Asking why you didn't buy this sooner. <laughs> so sorry, you're getting like three days into one. You got Halloween and then we tried coming back, but obviously it was too late. The next day it was raining, the next day it was raining. So you're supposed to get this way sooner, but sorry, if it's not good aesthetics, you guys won't watch, so blame it on yourselves. <laughs> um, but we are, uh, technically three days into one. At the end of this video, you guys will get our Formula One uh, video. It's really just a vlog. Hopefully you guys enjoy it, but we're gonna do the install right now. It's a very easy install. It's a very short video. That's why we kind of combined it into two. If for whatever reason you did not listen to me and you did not buy these bleeder screws, one, shame on you. But two, if you want somebody to come and look at your car and you're in the DFW area, Three Cross Garage is today's sponsor of this video. And it's somebody you should definitely hit up if you're in our area and you need someone that's a professional licensed mechanic. They're not just some dudes in a car. They are professionals that will come and assist you uh, with all of your alpha needs, but all of your car needs in general. I don't keep advertising Three Cross Garage because, you know, I just want a sponsorship and want to throw people in there. We strategically partnered with Three Cross Garage because a lot of you guys were reaching out to us about race mode, about oil changes, about brakes, asking me to personally do them. <laughs> Love you guys. Love cars. You guys see me do this, but I am by no stretch of the imagination going to be working on your guys' cars. That's why we partnered with Three Cross Garage. We've got offers from, again, a lot of different people to come on here and be mechanics. Tristan, obviously working at Alpha, um, had immediately my buy-in. I had breakfast with Matt and Tristan, got to understand their whole business. Um, so I truly, truly, when I, when I recommend anybody to you guys, it's not just a, I'm just going to recommend something to these guys. I usually do my research and I go through and I make sure people are vetted before I start start throwing their name out there. Lessons learned from not doing that in the past, so I do that now. So if you guys ever see me recommend anybody, it's because I've either spoken to the CEO, owners, or somebody before I start just name dropping people. For those of you who don't know, I am going to SEMA literally tomorrow, like at four in the morning. Uh, so I'm running out of time here, so I'm gonna show you how to do these bleeder screws on my demo car because time is of the essence. Mm -hmm. And this video was supposed to come out a long time ago. But anyways, the two bleeder screws, you guys can see, oh, if you guys didn't see, my window's gone. So the two <laughs> a bleeder screws are one right here. You guys can see it. Can you see it? I'm gonna pull it out just so you guys can see it live. There's no wishy-washy about it. Wow. It's that simple. You just use a flat head with this one, okay? And this is the small one, okay? Again, plastic. I'm gonna put this right up here on our handy dandy dash. <clears throat> now this other one, the reason why we came and showed you on the demo car, cause I didn't see a really a good way to get to it. I'm sure I could, 
but to close it tightly and properly, my logic would be that I have to take this whole cowl off, again, already done on my crash car, um, but I didn't have the time to do that right now. So I'm gonna show you how to take it off the logical way. If you are not with the cowl off, you would just come under here and you would pry off. Again, you have a cowl here, so it may be hard to get this off. This is an eight millimeter. I watched a few of my friends on video do this and it seems like they had no issue whatsoever getting these off and putting the new one on. Me, I'm gonna do it the proper way. I'm gonna take my cowl off when I do do this. I don't know if that's what the instructions call for, but that's the only logical solution for me. And I like to do things the right way, make sure things are nice and tight. If anybody else has a better alternative than doing that and taking my cowl off, please leave it down in the comments. But, and to take your cowl off, not gonna show you. <laughs> just a bunch of clips, you'll figure it out. Actually, I will show you. There's a good friend of ours that has a QV and he just did a video on how to take the ECUs out and he did a very detailed video on how to take the cowl off because you need to take the cowl off for the QV. I'm gonna link that video down in the description. You guys can go watch that if you want to take the cowl off. That was very nice of you. Thanks. <laughs> Because I'm sure not doing that right now. <laughs> there you go. Wow. There's the big one. All right. So when you put the Alfisimo ones in, the small one goes up top. The other one goes in the back. <clears throat> okay. Here is both bleeder screws. This is the small one. This is the bigger one. If you do not replace these, for those of you who aren't aware of what happens, um, if you guys watched our trip to California, um, we ended up having to stop in Arizona because one of our bleeder screws broke. Uh, we're kind of running raggedy all the way until we got there. It was not a good time. Thank God uh, the team in Arizona was able to get us back up the same day so we can get on the road. But on the off chance that you get stranded somewhere and one of these breaks, you really shouldn't run your car hot uh, unless you really know what you're doing. So you're most likely going to have to get your car towed. Um, once you get your car towed, you're gonna have to wait a few days before they get it back up and you guys know how dealers are. So you're gonna be out there without your car for a few days here. This literally takes a few seconds to replace. Nonetheless, $30 to save you a headache and if you don't have towing on your insurance, you may have to pay for towing. Just more and more issues. Right. So anyways, before you put these on, there's two gaskets that you have to put on to these. I'm gonna show you right now. Uh, once again, thank you to Alfisimo for sending this out. So you're going to have two of these rubber little gaskets in here. You are going to yeet them out. There you go. I shouldn't have to tell you this, but common sense. Small goes on small, big goes on big. All right, it's going to seal that up for you. And then you are just going to screw them in. On top, instead of the A and the flathead, they're both T25s. And that is all you need to screw them on. All righty, can you guys see it? I just hand tightened for now and then make sure it's righty tidy that's it beautiful wow look at that <laughs> nice and simple alrighty so again the only way to get to this is kind of under here in this little space because again you'll have a cow here you can get it hand tight but tightening it, trying to get a tool under here, if you guys can see this metal bar, it's kind of pressing up. So it's, it would be hard to get, you know, anything in here to try to get a, a get tightening on it. You can get a, I'm assuming a, some vice grips and just kind of squeeze it tight, but I don't know, that probably doesn't seem like the right thing to do. I'm gonna remove the cowl. Again, you don't have to, but that is what I'm gonna do. The way I did it is I just put my thumb on it and then twist it underneath it, all right? And then once you're gonna come in here with your nice extensions and your tools, and you are just going to mew. See, so much easier without a cow. <laughs> that is literally all it takes to install. Now for me, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Make sure, warning, <laughs> your car is not hot. Leave it like overnight and then do it the first thing in the morning. You do not want to do that while your car is even warmed up or hot. Do not do it car needs to be cold okay um, now that may be a simple process for me I know saying remove the cow probably scared a few of you or sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, or some of you guys just don't feel comfortable doing work on your car in general 
if you are in the DFW area, make sure you reach out to Three Cross Garage. They can do this install for you. On the off chance that you don't want to go to Three Cross Garage, go to somewhere else. Who will do it for you? I do not recommend you working on your cars if you do not feel comfortable working on your cars because I do not want you coming back and saying, Ricky, my car broke your head. Don't do that. <laughs> This is your fault, your responsibility. But that being said, I don't know if you guys noticed, my hat is actually different. Ooh. This is Modern Motor Day. <laughs> I know it looks identical to the hat I typically wear. That is on purpose because I wanted to replicate the same hat because I feel comfortable with that hat. Yeah. But this is just Modern Motors. Uh, but anyways, if you guys wanted to buy the same hat that I have, we have them in stock right now. You guys are gonna go down to Modern Wear. It's gonna be down in the description and purchase a hat right off of us if you wanna look just like me. <laughs> Um, I will be wearing this at all SEMA because yeah, <laughs> uh, I will not have gel with me. So this is the hat I'm rocking the whole entire time. <laughs> if you guys are going to be at SEMA, please, please, please pay attention to my Instagram. Go look at my Instagram. I'm going to probably periodically post where I'm at. So if you guys want to come say hi to me, I'll be there. All right, tell the people where you're at. <laughs> Welcome back to another very exciting cold episode of Modern Motors. We are at our first ever Formula One event. Okay, so we started watching the Formula One. Is it a documentary? Yeah, like the, that show. That show. Sure. And I feel like I know these people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Keith Lee, review it. How's the F1 food? Uh, presentation, I'll give it a 8.5 out of 10. Okay. Uh, Lay's are my favorite chips. That's a 0.5. So let's see. This is smoked sausage. Really sick smoked sausage. That's the only food option we had, apparently. Oh, very good. Is it good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sure there's more food options that way, but we were so hungry. We've been driving for three hours. We're in Austin right now. Yeah. We left at five in the morning. It's a three hour drive for us. We're extremely tired, our kids were tired. Yeah. And we got sick because we haven't ate anything. We're just living off of Red Bull at the moment. Red brought, Bull gives us wings. I brought a blank tea so I can switch into a- Oh, well, you got your thing dirty. Okay. Oh, you definitely have to go buy one I now. never have to, I definitely have to Now you have to buy one. You have to choose a team. <laughs> I know these vlogs are a little bit like more boring, just more just me and Crystal talking, but I want to bring you guys along because this is our first event, so you guys can come yeah. and experience it with us. I this, wanted to show you guys a Formula One. I've and, always been excited to come And if here. this video doesn't do well, you guys are haters. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy the moment with us. <laughs> For real. Come over here. We're gonna, no, 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 no. We're gonna do a second with you. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Derek. We would not be here if it wasn't for Derek. We truly, truly appreciate the No invite. problem. No problem at all. Uh, yeah, no dude, this is so cool. You see all the Porsches. We're like right here about, about to see the cars run through. Super cool, super oh, cool yes. event. This is insane. Yeah, very cool. Very cool. And very beautiful cool. weather now. So. Uh, it's it's getting a little too hot. <laughs> a little rough. But well, it's better than being cold. It is. It's freezing. <laughs> I've never been to downtown Austin. I've been to Austin, but never downtown. So we're gonna go explore okay. and wait for Derek to wake up. I think he's taking a little nap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, F1 is literally like another world. Like it felt like, it was pretty crazy. I'm not gonna lie. It felt like a whole uh, bunch of uh, gearheads just in one Yeah, spin. yeah. It felt like everyone was just playing with their toys, you know? I feel like, I feel like sometimes I speak a foreign language and like everybody there understood it. <laughs> <laughs> you get it. Um, but it was really, really cool. I'm so happy that I finally got to experience Formula One. Um, it's just one of those things where you never thought you were gonna go and now you went and you're like, oh, shit. I would, de I would definitely go back. Would yeah. you go back? Yeah. Uh, the merch is extremely expensive. Uh, whatever you think it's gonna cost, double that. <laughs> <laughs> the 
Yeah, March is expensive. I, I tried to go to buy packs and clothes, and they were sold out because apparently everybody was buying packs and clothes because it was for the cheapos, uh, <laughs> for for me. Uh, but um, yeah, that was that was rough. But like a shirt was like a, what, 125 bucks. A jacket was like $300. Yeah. Forget it. I'll just wear my regular. It I'll, is Formula One. You know, it is Formula One. It's gonna be expensive. But I don't think that justified that. Uh -huh. <laughs> Truly appreciate you guys watching another one of our videos. This may be long, this may be short. I don't really know. Kind of all three days mashed together. We'll see you guys in Vegas. Yeah.